Morning. Hi everybody. Well, same plan as yesterday. So what I want people to do, start sharing the information. All right, really important. I'm just gonna check and make sure that we're ready to go live. Anybody on yet? Wake up, wake up. Uh, there we go. There we jolly well go. These live streams are going quite well, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. Good morning, Carly. Alan. Hi, everybody. Are you ready for the uh, jigsaw piece number three? Let's get on there. I don't know if you're watching the, the, the media, but it's uh, it's getting quite interesting, isn't it? Morning, everybody. Morning, Rachel. Hi, Alan. Get it shared. Get it shared. These are really going well as it happens. And quite bizarre, considering that um, we're not supposed to be on. I wonder if it's the threat from the US administration in relation to the social media and them banning them banning the anybody talking about 5G. Because 5G is the key. 5G is the key. I like that saying. It's the key to bring the criminal enterprise to a sticky end. So we'll all see uh, Michael Mansfield. The case that's been brought, I read the legal papers yesterday, quite interesting. Obviously, they need a little bit of help with some of the technicalities because they're missing a few tricks, like the gassing of the air, the charging of air, the noxious air. But the bit we're going to be talking about today, hello, Keith, how are you doing, my old pal? Get this shared and get it shared out with all your friends and family. We're on the march. We're on the march. All right, the numbers are growing significantly. I was talking to a few guys in the shop this morning. Seemingly, they think it's all just a hoax as well. Seems like Dominic Cummins, the guy who likes to have a few trips up the Barney, Barnard Castle. Quite an interesting place, Barnard Castle. Big pharmaceutical company there. What I thought was the real purpose, was it, Dominic? Was that the real purpose that you had to come north to have a little chit chat? Because it's starting to look pretty interesting. Also, some of the relationships he's got with some of the app builders. So this is the tracking app. Tracking app is quite interesting, all right? Because obviously, if you go into a building where there's been anybody who now uh, gets this second wave, because the second wave's coming, by the way, we already see it in South Korea. We've got a second wave in South Korea. We've got a second wave in Wuhan province. See, because... You just take a little, little bit, turn the power up a little bit, and that causes the symptoms, the pneumonia type symptoms. And what they're stating is this. Didn't want to get banned yet. Right. Yesterday, there's a link below this link. All right. There's a link below this link, and it is for a new platform on mines. And the reason for that. We need to get we need to get on to these other platforms because I've now been banned on VK. Yesterday I had a full ban. YouTube have taken down the whole channel. Now they've taken the channel down because even though I couldn't post on it, it was still getting three and four thousand views a day. So people are getting up to speed about the technicalities. So they've took all the technicalities down. They've took the light mass, the weapon system down, the LED light weapon. That's what it is. Designed to cause bodily harm, as a matter of fact. So come on, get those shares up, everybody. Come on, I want to get the numbers up. Morning, Al morning Alison. Get the shares up. Come on, let's get organised. I'll do the same as what I did yesterday. The problem we've got, if, if I put this up and I give you a time when I'm going to come on, what they'll do is they'll block it. That's what they've done. Morning, Robert. Get it shared. Get it out to all your friends. Come on, get these numbers built up. That's the most important thing. So I'm going to talk about jigsaw piece number three. Jigsaw piece number three. And then you see nobody's got any excuses because obviously the, there's quite a lot of interesting people who watch these videos. Uh, some very, very interesting characters. 
In fact, the BBC, believe it or not, they don't like these videos. One that I'm going to explain to people what Jigsaw 3 is all about, right? It's about a political war. Because you know, I talk about asymmetrical wars. Well, an asymmetrical war is how they come at you in all different ways. All right. We're going to do exactly the same as what I did yesterday morning. Sarah, Carl, Wendy. Hi, everybody. Get it shared out. Get it shared out as quick as you can. All right. And as fast as you can so that we get as many people on this talk as possible. All right. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes. We've got plenty of time. We've got all the time in the world. What they've done, they've just locked you up in your own house. They've locked you up. Self isolation, house arrest, that's what it's really called. So it's basically house arrest in breach of your human rights legislation, all on the back of something that's happened in China. Well, we know what happened in China. We've got the documentary evidence. We know exactly what happened in Wuhan. It's all well documented. And unfortunately, a lot of people have died. There's going to be a lot more people die in the United Kingdom. Because to go with the deal, they'll plan out to kill 10 million a year by 2025. Now, how do they do that? Let's just think. If I put a weapon system in a street near you, then obviously that's how you can get rid of 10 million people a year. Just in the UK, by the way. All right. That's what the documents say. Now, I had a reporter on who tells me he wants to have another conversation within five years, because I said that he'd probably not last five years, he'd be dead before then. And he said, well, we'll have that conversation in five years. I sent him the documents from Diego, and he's never come back. And plus, I haven't done a story. Where's these hit pieces? I mean, so that's the BBC are going to do a hit piece on us. The New York Times are going to do a hit piece on us. The Sun in Scotland are going to do a hit piece on us. Where? They're running for the hills. Well, let's talk about the political war, Mike. That's what I'm going to talk about in this in this part of the jigsaw puzzle. Because what we're going to do is make a bigger picture so that everybody can eventually get it. Because it's best to get it in bite-sized pieces. All right, so people understand what's going on. Morning, everybody. Just keep getting it shared. Come on, get those numbers up. I'm going to give you about two minutes, same as yesterday. And no, I'm not going off to the toilet. Right, I'm gonna go and have a quick sip of coffee. Right, I'd like to play some music for you, but they didn't like that either. So a little bit of background music. It's like listening to Radio Four, isn't it? But a little, little bit of the truth. Whatever happened to the media? How did the media get hacked? Well, I'll tell you how they got hacked. They got rid of the unions. You see, this plan goes back, well, you know, a lot further than what everybody thinks. You know, this plan. To kill on mass, the final solution was actually hatched, hatched in the 40s. Probably goes a little bit further back than that. So it goes back a very, very long way. All right. In the 80s, they took out all of the unions, and that was so that they could control the press. Because we can see the press are totally controlled now. I've been quite interested watching the um the mail. The mail's got some quite interesting stories. Uh Peter Hitchens. Is basically scratching at the scratching at the door, but there's none of them still covering the truth because the truth is absolutely too hard for them to swallow, right? So they'd rather try and discredit the truth as accept the truth. It's what's called cognitive dissonance. They just cannot handle the truth. So when the British government, our British government, the intelligence agencies got all the documentary evidence from me to show that 5G was, as a matter of fact, a weapon system. I was even told by a senior government official that couldn't get their head round it. They actually couldn't get their head round it. Now, the reason they couldn't get their head round it because it's that bad, can it stomach the truth? It's horrendous. The plan, and the reason I'm going to scotch the plan, right, because as we talk about, you see, God, remember, asymmetrical wars, we're plotting and scheming, because I know that plan. So consequently, when I tell people what's going to happen, it's like setting up an ambush, all right? So when your councils are buying land around the country so they can bury the bodies or build burn pits, because I haven't got the incineration capacity to kill 10 million a year, and obviously you'll know that's what they're really trying to do. They're burning you. Give some people some really good information here. The good people will survive. The COVID idiots won't. 
And the reason for that is because they will have the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast, once you get the mark of the beast, because you know this is all about taking your soul. And if you if I'm going to your soul, why do they want you dead? Because that's a big problem, you see, because that's the game. That is the game plan. And we'll talk about that once people get all the jigsaw puzzle pieces together. Because what we're going to talk about today is the political attack, the attack through politics. How they've ended up with all these stupid, ignorant, ignoramuses, fools in these positions of power. It's quite unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, yesterday, we had a letter from a lady who was getting a letter from an MP, basically saying, 5G, you know, we've got to have it. It's got to be, got, you know, we've got to have it because it's, you know, this, this infrastructure, it's got to be there. What they don't realise is it was a weapon. So they're telling you, Public Health England saying it's safe. Interesting enough, they've dropped the reference, because all the references prior to that from MPs, we've got lots of them. People going to save us now website, getting the letters from there, really important. Get pressure put on these MPs. The documents they send you are false. It's misconduct in a public office. They're representing the fake narrative from central government. Public Health England in particular, who are stating that 5G is safe. And there's no safety data on 5G, as I've already said on a number of occasions. In fact, as early as 2017, there can't be any safety data. The thing was built as a weapon. Direct energy in air is a technical parameter for 5G, a weapon. All right, so it's kind of be safe. It was built to do bodily harm. The LED streetlights, that toxic, biologically toxic, 450 nanometers, kills insects. It's a crime. So your councils run for the hills. A lot of people still contact. I mean, I'm getting councillors now. Sent a number of documents out to a number of councillors yesterday because obviously they're now starting to come along for the party. <clears throat> they're starting to realise that unfortunately, as the judge in the case where Gates' counsel took me to court, he said I was an expert. So they start to accept the fact that I am an expert and what I'm saying is correct. All right. Morning, everybody. Paula, Adam, keep keep sharing this, everybody. Get it shared out to other platforms. That's the most important thing. I want these numbers doubling. All right. We're here to over 400 people watching this video yesterday. All right. And we've had tens of thousands. Don't be too concerned about the numbers that you see because the report, less numbers watching these videos than actually are. So the numbers are significantly higher than what you think. A lot more people are watching them. All right. A lot more. Significantly more. So let's keep getting this out. Right. So then what we're going to do, we can start talking about plans of action. Once you get all the jigsaw pieces, we're going to do four jigsaw pieces. You've had two. This is the third one. What I'm going to be talking about, like I said, is the political, the democratic. You've, you've lost your democracy. Well, I already knew you'd lost your democracy in Gator because they shut down the democratic process to cover up the fact of their deployment of a weapon system, basically a crime to commit genocide on the people. Now, then they proceeded to shut the courts down. So the courts are shut. There's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel there. And obviously, we've got the Mansfield case. The courts are starting to look as if they're going to start opening up. All right. And as soon as they get opened up, we'll be at them like a dog at drop. All right. A dog with a bone. Because we do not lose this. We win it. There's a lot of people going to get harmed and hurt. However, I mean, I've already got people. I had a lady in London yesterday. She's got blisters on her skin. The radiation levels in these cities is absolutely catastrophic. We'll get a number of uh, actors on the BBC tell you it cannot be harmful, not of energy in that part of spectrum. I mean, these people are an absolute joke or something even more sinister because they don't understand the electromagnetic radiation spectrum at all, zero. I mean, why would <clears throat> the world's military use a sub gigahertz to 10 gigahertz, that's a sweet spot, by the way, of electromagnetic radiation if it wasn't harmful. Morning, everybody. Just keep getting everybody on. I hope you've been getting a bit of sun, by the way, because this, uh, you know, 
you can see our half <laughs> get out and get the sun it's very good for you vitamin d you see that helps to build your immune system up so eating really well great defense i get lots of people asking me about mitigation technologies the only way to mitigate 5g is to remove it it has to be removed losing is not an option we do not have an option to lose this through ignorance we do not have the option to lose this because we've got a load of criminals right in local authorities governments who are denying the fact that electromagnetic radiation man-made electromagnetic radiation is toxic to biological life even the industry say that so even the industry agree with me now right the science has always agreed with what I've been saying, right? And it's because I knew about electromagnetic radiation in the 80s, how it was being designed and used as a weapon system. And if you look at Operation Paperclip, everybody, the data's out there, Brunderman weapon systems, go and, have to go and take a look. If anybody wants any documentary evidence, contact Sun. If you want to go on the offensive, contact Sun, get the documents and speak to local councils local police there's a document we're going to put up there get on your police this is a crime they are going to die first you've got to remember once 5g is fully implemented you don't need them it can hear you it can see you and it can shoot you that's what those antennas are able to do that is the technical parameter for 5g the internet of things the smart city kill grid is what I call it, because that's what it is. The densification of billions more antennas emitting toxic microwave radiation. Well, it's bound to, isn't it? And not only that, it increases the temperature in a cityscape. It increases the temperature. And we know that when temperatures rise, a lot of people who are old and frail, unfortunately, they will expire. And that's the plan. And the plan's been accelerated by something that those older people have been given by doctors who haven't actually looked at the constituent parts of those injections. Because when you look at the constituent parts, the contamination in them, I know it's a weapon. So under pain of death, believers, you do not want that. You do not want that. And obviously the people who are listening to this or being informed and are starting to gather the knowledge, the knowledge I'm going to give to you, right, as a messenger to tell everybody about what it is you have to do. Because what I want people to do, I want them to survive this. That's the whole point to save us now. I want to save others. I want to save them, but they have to save themselves by also saving others. Very, very important. And we're getting there. We're making massive inroads. People are starting to work out there's something very smelly going on. Even the mail yesterday about Cummins. Well, he's not bothered, is he? I mean, travels up to Durham, sees his parents. I mean, all this. I didn't go anywhere near them. But you see, they're going on the TV and telling them they've got this. Oh, I've got it. He said he had sore eyes. Microwave radiation causes sore eyes. His eyesight it was blurred. The reason are where these. To stop the blurred eyesight. My eyesight goes blurred, I can't see. So I've got to wear protective eyewear because the microwave radiation blurs. It damages the lens. So your eyesight goes blurry. You get sore eyes, bad heads, ringing in the ears, dry mouth, and that turning the radiation up at night. Here's another thing. So an all part of the deployment of a weapon system to cause mass death. I haven't turned it up yet. What I'm telling you, that fitting the equipment, it is currently on 20% of its output capacity. 20%. And look, all the little kiddies are being burnt. Absolutely disgusting. And those people who are behind this, believe us, it's not going to be good for them. Not going to be good at all. The only people that will survive this are the ones that resist it. It's really important for people to understand that. Resistance is key. Saving others is key. Getting the knowledge is key. All the scientific documentary evidence is there. 
Now, the bit I'm going to talk about, like I said before, because the numbers are starting to get up there now, the bit I'm going to talk about is the political war and how it's waged. So what you've done, they've actually hacked the media. So you've, most of the media groups are hacked. BBC in particular are driving the narrative. The reason for that is because they have a massive investment into 5G. So they're using their pension funds. Obviously, they don't want to use their pension money. A lot of people are invested in 5G. I'm telling everybody to get out. You see this shutdown of the country. It's the start of the horror show. It's not going to end. They're talking about ending it. We're going to end it, but we're going to extend it for another few weeks. And when we extend it, we're going to put some more draft, some more legislation, because obviously we've caught them and they had to go early. They had to go early in the fight. And consequently, we've dragged them into this asymmetrical war too early. That's why councils are buying land so they can bury the bodies. Because I've got the incineration capacity. Everybody might find this unbelievable. Go and have a look at Deagle's document. It tells you it's dead simple. It's a defence weapons intelligence organisation that sure that the population in the United Kingdom by 2025 will be less than 15 million. All right, now how do they do that? We know how to do it. They're coming at you in all ways. They've actually declared a secret war on the people. Now, it's not going to pan out very well for the people who are behind it. So the people who have signed this off, believe us, they die. Somebody asks us a question of the day, well, this must be affecting them. Yes, it is. But the worst bit is probably the pictures they've got of some little kid, some of that devious act that's well document, documented by the intelligence agencies probably operating out of China, right, where they've got... They've had them in a compromised position, right? And obviously, you've got the other monetary uh, point where you've got Billy Good Gates, who's funding the BBC, British government, obviously splashing the cash, splashing the cash so these people just keep their head down, stuff their mouths full of cash, your cash in particular, your tax, stuffing their mouths full of it, but cannot speak, right? I call it a gagging cash, gags them. So that's why nobody's speaking out. But people are starting to wake up. Got a number of scientists starting to wake up. But let's get back to this political establishment war. We've got a number of the agencies who are disseminating false, inaccurate information in relation to 5G. Public Health England are now saying it's safe. The MP letter we got yesterday is sent to a constituent stating that we need 5G and it's safe because public health thing they've told them public health thing they've got no evidence zero to show that 5g safe none there's none done be no testing done so why is that false narrative coming out of an organization who should know it's a weapon because our main office is important down it's a weapons facility so surely they should know Shouldn't they? Surely there should be some scientists there that know that this is a weapon system because obviously it's been developed as a weapon system for many, many years. So how come they don't know? It's a little bit more sinister, isn't it? It's a lot more sinister. So yes, the British government do know about 5G. They've had the documents from me. I've shown them quite clearly it's a weapon. And obviously it's a Chinese weapon. So we're seeing the mail today that they're going to have to remove, if Boris makes a decision to remove the Chinese weapon system, it's going to take seven years. It's obviously a lot of resistance by the telecommunications companies. That's probably just a smoke screen. They're fitting them up now. They're actually putting 5G, Chinese 5G systems in today. They're putting the system in today as we speak. We've got Cummins who doesn't believe it. We've got, they're laughing at us. These people are laughing at us because they don't stick to the rules because they know it's a hoax. They know it's a hoax because they're just puppets on a string. Whether they know it's genocide and they're going to die because they're going to die as well, by the way. 
they do not survive this they've already signed a contract with the devil a lot of people find that unbelievable but i'm telling you they have they've already signed well he wants their soul because that's the game so he takes them out first you'd think they'll have a bit self-preservation wouldn't you or they're just thick do you think they're just that thick because they think you're the target i'm going to tell you now you're not just the target they are the target they're just too dim to be able to read the signs the technicalities of what 5g really is a well-constructed weapon system deployment on the country the five points of the pentagram like five eyes it's all in fives five points you've seen them all before Billy Gould Gates at the center of it because obviously he's driving his narrative this is not about social control they believe it to be I'm going to tell you it's not when you see those kiddies with those radiation burns how long do you think they're going to last what's their life expectancy they've just been bombarded with massive amounts of microwave radiation a category one an irc group one cancer caused radiation we know from what happened in israel when they deployed the a and a lot of the young troops right who were actually involved in the deployment of that equipment and working with that equipment of getting cancer and have died what about these poor little children what about the insects what about your cats your dogs cats die of cancer dogs die of cancer now we have dogs for years now we die of cancer but let's get back to the uh get back to the politics the political system's been hacked because i've got no doubt that there's people in there who find it difficult to believe what i'm saying but unfortunately i can prove everything i'm saying documented scientific facts and weapon systems i can prove it so that's the big problem that they've got because it's that horrendous they'd rather keep their head down they'd rather keep their head down and carry on with the deployment of the weapon against the people now the good thing is a lot of people are really starting to wake up they're really starting to wake up to the fact of what they say but we've still got that critical mass to get all right because there's still not enough i know when believers that's the reason why youtube has just shut down my youtube channel i've had this channel banned a number of times they've threatened the banners again that's why i've moved to these other channels so we can keep disseminating the words so get across on these other channels vk got took down now how did the kid how did they take vk down how did they take the the, the channel down well obviously there's something very nefarious going on right so at least we've got to be a little bit we've got to be a little bit clever hi good morning chris good job everybody's in on the lockdown it's not as good a day as what it was yesterday so i'm pleased that you're all on your computers and getting this information out very very important and like i said a lot more people are seeing this than what you know all right a lot more i'm bumping into people i mean i was in dunston the other day right and the white van pulled up and the guy got out couple of kids with him young but young bits of lads and he said you're mark steel and i went i am mate. <laughs> shook me hand he said fantastic when when is it when when and i said not yet we've got to build our numbers first we've got to build those numbers the resistance numbers and it's going to come make no mistake about we've got a mansfield case we've got our case we're building up our resistance numbers because it's no good going too early everybody's desperate to let's get at it well i'm telling you not yet i'll know when and that's what i'll be able to tell you and that's why we need to be on other channels all right you need to be on other channels because we they are absolutely caking it they are absolutely caking it that's why they've got to shut down the freedom of speech an illegal act by the way because what they're doing is they're covering up genocide 
because we can prove the densification of 5G across this country is genocide. Public Health England have stated the government do not expect any increase in radiation. Don't expect any. They're going to monitor it. They've got nobody to monitor it. And they're lying in the first instance. So they're lying about 5G being safe. They're now saying they're going to monitor. Well, why are they going to monitor something that they've said is being safe? These people are just absolute out and out clowns who are all party to the agenda, the genocide agenda 5G. Really important, get the information out. Very, very important. Get this shared. Come on, there's enough people on here now. Get it shared. I want you to start sharing this on other platforms. We're going to start talking about the politics. I'm going to be on here for another five, ten minutes. But let's get it shared because I don't like making these too long. Because obviously people, attention, the information I'm giving you just need little bits at a time. And you'll hear it over and over again. It's to get people to understand what I'm talking about. The ICNIRP guideline that your government are, are adhering to is a guideline only. That organisation has already been shown in a court lately to be compromised. That the evidence they have put out is not to be relied upon in relation to microwave radiation. This is who your government are relying on, lying on, because that's what they're doing, they're lying, they're relying on ICNIRP as a body to tell you that microwave radiation is safe. And that apart from it cooking you, doesn't cause any harm. Well, yeah, let's tell you this. I can charge you 10 electron volts. ICNIRP have just increased, they've just increased the output from the transmitters, the 5G transmitters, from 60 electron volts, that was the guideline, to now 120. Now, what do you think that's going to do to the air that you breathe? We're not talking about 60 gigahertz here. We're just talking about the charging of air, noxious gas. That'll damage. I've already got a lot of people in Gateshead who are having difficulty breathing. We've got people all over the country having difficulty breathing. And yes, they would have difficulty breathing. We know that radiation causes pneumonia. It causes skin burns. The doctors, the doctors will tell you it's Kawasaki disease. But you see, they're just fools. They've been given a diagnosis, right, because they don't want people going away and looking into what really is the cause of these skin burns. This pulmonary edema, and it's also the reason why our government have actually just stopped any post-mortems on people who are dying of this sickness. They don't want the evidence. There's obviously evidence. Now, that's quite key. Why do they not want the evidence if they think they're going to kill you all? They don't want the evidence because they know they're going to lose. It's the same reason why. Lloyds of London won't ensure, will not indemnify this equipment for claims. They won't ensure it because they know you're going to be here to claim it. Because they know the plan. Make no mistake about it. They know the plan. They know how dangerous this kit is. So they know the plan. They're ensuring it. So you're going to be here to claim. Or the clever people are. The people who have the knowledge will be around to make the claim otherwise they would have just insured it that tells me they're not assured of their war the war of total annihilation of all biological life on this planet that tells me i'm pretty confident that we win all right and we win big win very big because the tide is absolutely turning Tides on our side. The wind is in our seals because this message is getting out all over. 5G is a weapon system, period. Get the letters off the Save Us Now website, get them banged in the MP and get organized locally with others. The numbers are growing significantly. 
We've got people popping up all over. Social media is controlling people from getting together. They're in a panic. So they're shutting down. Not just my page, lots of people who opposed anything in relation to 5G, they're now getting banned. The Stop 5G group was banned, had 70,000 people on there. The numbers are growing. Everybody's realizing there's something very sniffy going on when you've got advisors to government who basically just do what they want. But they realize, as we realize, it's all just a quote. What's called a planned pandemic. The planned pandemic across the world. Now think about who could be capable of orchestrating this whole thing across the whole world. Where we had leaders in every single country reading off a script that had been put to them by the World Health Organization. An organization, by the way, who have taken money from Billy Good Gates. An organization that have allowed the crippling of 400,000 kids in India from <clears throat> what they're planning to give you. And they're already running tests. So you can see the people that are going to be tested with this aren't going to do very well. But there was a nurse in Australia who was given it, and it's just crippled her from the neck down. From the neck down, crippled up. Because guess what? Like all technology, if you rush it, you make a mistake. I know because I'm a technologist. I've been involved in a lot of research and development projects. And believers, you try and rush your technology. That's why we see mass burning down all over the country. <clears throat> Those 5G mass, when they start turning them up, they'll start to resonate. They'll start burning out. Believers, because they're rushing them, they don't understand the technology, and there will be enough of us left. But what I need people to understand, there is a plan. You see, I feel like, remember Noah? Noah in the Bible? Anybody remember him? We got taught it at school. Well, Noah, you see, he was telling everybody it's going to be a load of rain. And guess what? They didn't believe him. Believers, people have to start listening because this time it's burning. And you don't want to get caught out in that burn. And we're seeing lots of kiddies being burned. And that's all part of the plan. Radiation burns. That's what they call it, radiation. So what I want people to do, avail themselves of all the scientific documentary evidence. All right, I'm going to set me to the bit you. I'm going to start doing more videos on the science so people can get organized and they can really start to get active because you're going to have to get active. It's not for me. I can't do everything. All I can do is give you the message. You've got to build the numbers. It is absolutely imperative. The scientists are coming along nice and slowly. We're getting more and more of them coming up. And now what they're doing, they're shutting their platforms down, their YouTube videos, any social media that supports what we're seeing, they're getting shut down. Now, as the whole thing starts to fall to pieces, because the social media is a proper problem for them, and especially if we're clever, as long as we're clever and we get the information out, they're going to have to shut the whole thing down. That will be a time when we will have to take more firm action. All right, when the internet gets pulled down, when the electricity grid gets pulled down. Because as they start to turn up the 5G, by the way, it'll attack the electrical equipment in your locality. We already saw that in South Korea where it set fire to five cities. Because microwave radiation in air primes the environment for fire. It's a fire risk. Any hydrocarbon based product starts the gas off. <clears throat> if you put enough microwave radiation into it, it starts to vibrates the molecular structure and obviously if you get an ignition buff you saw that with Grenfell tower all those smart meters that weren't supposed to be in the building the ones that they try to cover up so it shows you what's really happening we're being told about this i mean i investigated the whole thing and i've got all the evidence in relation to that and make no mistake about it that all built into the asymmetrical plan 
to burn London to the ground, just like Dresden. But instead of firing a bullet or dropping a bomb, what you use is you use this secret weapon 5G. So poor might be a variation into an environment where it becomes temperature critical. Once it gets that temperature, and then all of a sudden you fire it up. You get an electrical fault, you get something burst into flames. Next minute you've got a building on fire, buildings start to burn down. You get enough buildings in a in a cityscape to burst into flames, and believe it, you've got yourself a bit of a bit of a problem there, like Dresden. All right. You can kill millions of people. Now that's possibly one of the plans going forward. That's if if not enough people get organized and get the information out to get this 5G crime stopped. So do not believe what's going in the mainstream media. They're telling us they're looking at this Chinese weapon system again in relation to uh, the deployment. I can tell you now it's false. They are going ahead. We've caught them. We've actually caught them in the act of committing genocide. That's what's happened. Politically, your democracy is being hacked. There isn't a democracy. That has been a democracy for quite a number of years. It started with Thatcher. Little bit by little bit, as Tony Blair got in charge, little bit by little bit, they took away the ability for Parliament to legislate. So all we got was the state narrative. And the state narrative is to kill 50 million in the UK by 2025. That's what's really going on. So that's what's happened. We now know the plan, and this is what scotches the plan. But it is up to all of you to get active. Those that can, must. Those that can and want to save themselves, save others. You save others in a number of different ways. Talk, tell, text. Get the information out. It's grown. Businesses are going bankrupt. So we've got this, what was going to be two weeks, now extended. So they're extending it. They're putting more pressure on the businesses. So consequently, they're going to go bankrupt. So the people that thought they had a job, or thought they were going back to a job, think again. Start thinking again. Because that plan, they're just pushing it out. And they're making it more and more difficult for businesses to survive with all these rafts of this legislative attack on the country against your freedom, against your democracy, against your God-given freedom, the law, the real law. They acts don't mean a thing. They're for actors. They don't mean anything. Like I said, get out in the sun. We must, we cannot lose this fight. Losing is not an option. It's not an option for anybody. And for all those men that died or pulled the rule of law and the democracy, just think on them. Think on their souls. And think how horrendous we have ended up in this position by a bunch of donkeys. By a bunch of donkeys, right, who think that they're politicians. MPs writing letters to people supporting the state narrative. 5G safe, we've got to have it. A crime. 5G is a weapon system. Get them a letter wrote. Get them a letter wrote and get them tools. It's a crime. 5G is demonstrably a crime against the people. Not what Public Health England says. Not what ICNIRP says. ICNIRP on their own website. They've got a legal disclaimer. That nothing they say should be taken as read. Nothing. And you've got your own regulatory bodies. A criminal enterprise. Misconduct in a public office. Going along with the crime. Do they know it's genocide? Well, if we start right with MPs and we tell them it's genocide, they might start listening. But they're not going to survive it either. In fact, their soul 
I know it's getting there still. I don't know what they've been up to. Obviously, it wasn't very nice. Some of these local politicians, these executives in councils, where they deployed a weapon system on top of the people through ignorance, greed, self serving. Part of an organization, common purpose, that's been run by the international banking groups. You know, runs then, don't we? That five point in the pentagram. It's all there. It's all there. So what I'm going to do, uh, this is Jigsaw 3, Jigsaw 4 tomorrow, and I'm going to do a summary. The summary, we really need to get ready for that. There's going to be a couple more as soon as possible, and then I want people to take the information, get them shared, get these watched, get them out there. The numbers are growing significantly, but I need them in the hundreds of thousands. 144,000. All right. And then we know that millions of people, millions of people have woken up. We can't save those that don't want to be saved. All right. Can't save those that can't be saved. And we definitely can't save those that have already sold that soul to Satan. Because obviously they've already signed the contract. They're dead in the water. Absolutely dead in the water. And that's why I always smile about it. It's quite funny, really, when you think about it. The same idiots who are deploying the stuff, they're going to die. The coppers who are protecting them. See, I spoke to some North from the Arcs. He asked them, I want them to take my complaint of genocide and the fitting of a 5G weapon system. Just look as if you're stupid. Well, they'll be the stupid ones. Because believers, when they start turning that 5G up and that tetra they've got, airwaves, they call it, that telecommunication system that have got in our vehicles, can you imagine all that extra power? And then they go home, and then they get bombarded in that bedroom from a transmitter on a bit of street furniture. And all the while, they're supporting the crime, the criminal enterprise to shut down the country, to break the law, to break God's law. We're better than this. We were made better than this. And I want people to lift our vibration and remember how powerful you really are. The information they have kept from you about who you really are and how we stop this. How we stop this crime and bring these criminals to justice. That's what we're about. Just keep up the good work. Everybody, morning, Laura. How's things in Glasgow? Good to see everybody getting organized. Behind the scenes, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. All right. Don't think you're on your own. You're not. Significant numbers of people in every single area and every single town are starting to wake up and are waking up fast. And the people that are getting sick are telling people. And people who are getting ringing ears, sore eyes, bad heads. The deployment of small meters. Get them small meters removed. Get them on the phone. Good girl. Well done, Laura. Proper little soldier there. And there's a lot of soldiers, a lot of truth tellers, truth warriors out there. Can't even get on Facebook, so they can't even listen to this today. But hopefully they'll be able to see it. Well done, everybody. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. Don't worry. We'll get there. Might sometimes sink, you know. We might lose a few uh, skirmishes. But we win the war. We've won quite a number of battles. Won quite a number of battles up there now. I mean, that Gates and Council thing taking me in court. What a bunch of tatties. What a total absolute bunch, eh? That was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it? So anyway, God bless everybody. Keep up the good work. Keep active, believers. You're fighting for your life, not just for yours, but for others. And do not waste time on the pigs. All right? People with bad intent, people with bad soul. God bless everybody. And I'll speak to you soon about Jigsaw Peace 4.